Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And you tuned in to a really, really great day because collector Gavin Chin sent in this incredible footage. This is a showcase review of the Batman Forever. Uh, this is a one-third scale from Prime One Studio. Of course, this is uh, from the third film in the series way back when. And I think this thing looks incredible. And it also has that special bonus where you have the armory with all the bat gadgets. And I think that is really cool. And so uh, Gavin did not want to appear on camera. He wanted me to share uh, my thoughts, but he also passed along his thoughts as well. And so I'm going to relay that to you uh, because he actually has it in hand. But this thing is really cool. And it's one of those things where I keep wondering if I should add it to my collection. And so by the end of this, I want you to add your thoughts as well. If you think I should add it to the new Bat Bunker space, because I do think it look, looks really cool. Do I wish it was a Michael Keaton? I do, because uh, I like that pose and I like the the the, the, uh, the overall base with the, uh, the cave and everything. I think it looks great. So anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts, but without further ado, let's get right to the review. All right, guys, so this is so exciting, and we're actually going to start with the uh, deluxe wall, and this is basically two editions. There's a collector's edition and then the ultimate edition. The ultimate edition does come with this bat wall, um, and I also believe that you can order it separately as well if you just want to order this wall, and it's a gadget wall, um, and so I think that that is so cool that they did that. I really, really like uh, that they offer this as kind of like a standalone piece, and even if you don't buy this statue, I still think it would be cool to add um, to a movie collection in general if you have other Batman characters. So anyway, um, this is from Gavin. Gavin said that the uh, the overall wall was really impressive. Good large piece. Um, weapons look great and have great detail as you can see. Uh, a lot of different variety of the weapons as well. Um, he said some parts are color coded, um, but it's very easy to put together yourself. Um, the, uh, the whole, you know, structure itself was very strong with strong magnets. Um, and he also said the Batman bust, which we're going to see here, um, in just a moment, uh, has some really nice weight to it. Um, he did say that the stalagmites could be more detailed, um, but it does a, a good job overall along the bottom. And in my opinion, again, I think this is really, really cool. I love that it's got the rock base, um, and it's something different. It's something we haven't really seen in statue form. Um, you can see kind of the metal parts, uh, or, you know, obviously it's fully sculpted, but these are the stalagmites that he's talking about, or stalactites. Um, he said that maybe it could have been a little bit more painted, and I have, I have a ton of statues from Prime 1 that have a similar look or a feel. And, you know, a lot of times this is kind of a gray motif, um, but it does look good. Um, yes, I, I agree. Uh, I think it absolutely could use a little bit more detail, but obviously you're not really focused on that. You're focused on the figure and you're focused on some of the weapons and things like that. But overall, I still think it's cool. Uh, you also have the nameplate right there uh, from the movie Batman Forever. Um, and then, of course, you have, uh, like he mentioned, uh, the bust. And I really like that they have that uh, because, obviously, if you have an armory, you're going to have the costume as well. It would have maybe been cool to have the whole costume, yes. Um, but I really like the way they did this. I think the wall is really, really impressive. And, uh, again, I think it's cool that you can sell it. Or you can not sell it, but you can buy it separately. And um, the gadget wall, uh, I'm looking at Sideshow's website right now. It's $505 USD for that. Um, so you can get that companion piece. Um, and again, it is one third scale. So now let's move on to the actual statue itself. Um, the statue is, uh, retailing just without the deluxe, without the ultimate edition. The collector's edition is $1,305. I will put the link down below in the description if you're interested. And then the ultimate edition, uh, at least at Sideshow is uh, currently on a wait list. I think you can probably order directly from Prime One, um, which is great. Um, so uh, let me get to kind of what Gavin uh, said about this particular one. Um, so he, he feels the piece is really large, uh, very tall. He loves the size. He loves the pose. Um, loves the, uh, the, the logos at the bottom. He does say that uh, there's one bat symbol on the front and one bat symbol on the back. Um, obviously the back one you probably won't see it and some people don't really love the uh, the names on the front or the name plates um, or the logos in general but I think here it works really nicely and it does uh, you know show that that's from that movie which is really cool uh, Val Kilmer of course absolutely incredible um, love him as an actor and uh, I, I enjoyed this film yes it was a little campier than the other two uh, before it but I still thought it was fun um, I would have Maybe like to have seen a little bit more with him, actually. But, of course, Keaton is my man, so I would have liked to have seen that even more. I love the detail on the metal parts. 
Um, again, it is sculpted. It's not real metal, but it looks like metal. It's very, very well done. Obviously, it's the back cave. It's got cave elements, and it's got really, really great details. I love what Prime 1 has done with this base. Um, it's really nice. Um, Gavin does go on to say that the body is very glossy, um, so wear gloves when handling this. Um, that is his advice. Uh, muscle structure looks great, uh, especially with the gloss. Uh, he said the cape has a nice leather feel to it, but it is a, a bit annoying uh, to fit in the little slits um, and making it just right. Uh, so, you know, if you've ever dealt with a cape, sometimes it's not always that easy. Um, but it is it is what it is. He likes the base overall. I agree with him I think the rock work and the metal girder parts, you know, the bat cave parts look really really good um, Obviously, you know, they, they always have a nice weather to them um, a nice patina uh, To give it age to give it kind of a rust look and uh, prime one always does a great job with that So when we get to the actual suit, we're gonna start seeing some detail Obviously, you're gonna have that leather like look all throughout the suit uh, prime one again top-notch uh, with what they do with leather. Uh, I always think that they really capture the look of leather really, really well. Obviously, uh, you know, some very great ZBrush, uh, you know, applications there. Um, you know, he mentioned how shiny the suit is, and you can really see here uh, with the way the light reflects off of this. It's going to capture the light really, really well and really show off the muscle definition as well. Um, obviously, it's kind of plain, though. I mean, in terms of color, you're going to have a lot of just kind of blackish gray, not a lot of bells and whistles there with the suit. Um, there are different swap outs. We're going to see those here in just a bit. But of course, the Batarang, love that. It's probably my favorite look of these uh, different swap outs. And um, again, you know, depending on whether you get the deluxe or the regular um, is what you get uh, with the different swap outs. So keep that in mind. There is no, uh, you know, portrait swap out or anything like that. So if you don't care about the weapon swap outs, uh, the regular might be the way to go. Um, but again, it is up to you, but it's always nice to have some weapon swap outs uh, from time to time just to change up the look of the statue. Um, Gavin did want me to mention that there was one con, at least on his, he says at the back of his statue there's a hole in one of the rocks, which he didn't know uh, if it was a piece missing or if it was by design. Um, and he says he does show it here in the video, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, but he, he just wasn't sure about that. He just felt like that was odd. But overall, he really, really likes this statue a lot. Um, he gives it a 9 out of 10, and it, he says it's highly recommended to him. Um, he loves, again, the muscle definition, the way the light hits it, the way the light shines, and I absolutely concur. I think it looks really phenomenal. Um, I love this pose. As I mentioned, I, I wish this was like the Michael Keaton, uh, you know, pose because it's, it's very similar. I mean, let's be honest. It's very similar to the pose that uh, Sideshow did for their quarter scale Michael Keaton. So it's a very, very similar look. Um, however, obviously, this is uh, the Val Kilmer version. <laughs> you have the bat nipples, of course. Uh, so not everybody's going to love this suit, but I think it's still cool. Uh, you know, everybody always gives Clooney a hard time, but this suit actually had it before a Clooney suit did. Uh, so I always get a, get a chuckle out of that. So anyway, I think the bat emblem looks really great. This is what we really need to focus on. We need to focus on, is this Val Kilmer? Um, I personally think that the prototype looked more like Val Kilmer than this does. Um, I feel like it's close, you know, from certain angles that it feels kind of Val Kilmer-like, but I just, I don't see it as much on the final version. Uh, I'm curious as to what you guys think in the chat down below, uh, the viewers. Do you guys see it? I almost feel like it looks a little bit more like Christian Bale <laughs> or somebody. I'm, I, I just don't, I just don't see uh, Val Kilmer quite as much now. I did definitely in the prototype, but I just don't know if I see it as much. Um, so let me know if you agree. I don't, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I kind of see Bale's mouth in that. And maybe it's just because I've seen Bale so much. I don't know. But overall, I do think that the statue looks really great. I love the pose. I love that he's kind of looking off to the side. This is definitely one that I am still considering uh, purchasing. Again, that uh, $1,300 price point. Uh, you know, it is a lot, so you're, you're looking at probably, uh, you know, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600 shipped, uh, depending on where you order from. Ugh, that's a lot, but I love I love the height. I am getting the uh, the Robert Pattinson Batman and also the Michael Keaton Batman, so maybe it would be cool to add this one as well, uh, just as kind of like a tribute wall to all the movie Batmans over the years. Um, but I really do think that uh, Prime 1 really did a nice job. So this, what we're looking at here, is one of the weapon swap outs. Uh, so obviously, again, uh, you know, it's kind of like the stuff off the wall, which is great. So um, you can have him holding different um, weapons, depending on what version you got. got. And again, it's the, uh, the ultimate version, I believe, is the one that has uh, most of the, uh, the arm swap outs. Um, the regular, you're going to get the fist. 
Um, you're also, um, I think that's it, but with the ultimate, you're gonna get this Batarang right here, and then also uh, the grapple. So um, yeah, definitely, I just checked the website. Yeah, the ultimate is the one with the swap outs. Um, so if you're wanting the different weapons, you're definitely gonna wanna go ultimate. Um, but if you don't really care, if you just are okay with just that fist and that fist alone, um, then this one might be the one for you. So again, it's really cool to see the detail up close here. Really like what Prime One has done. Making it simple, you know, not a lot of bells and whistles, but it still looks great. And this is the the version with just the fist. So yes, is the fist as exciting as a weapon? No, it's not. But if you don't care, if you don't mind, it might be worth it to save a little bit of money just buying the regular. And uh, again, I just think it's really a cool statue. Uh, I really like what Prime One has done, and I love the sculpt, love the paint. I just I'm I'm blown away by it. Again, the only you know, big nitpick for me, of course, is that, uh, yeah, it could be uh, just a little bit better likeness, but I, I am curious as to what you guys think about that um, as well. So anyway, this is just kind of a, uh, a nice look. And again, I can't thank Gavin enough uh, for allowing us to check this out here on the channel. Um, if you guys are ever interested in uh, filming a review for us, please hit me up at the Batman Statue Collector at gmail.com. I would love to feature uh, your video here on the channel. Again, Gavin reached out to me and said, hey, Chris, can I film this for you? And I said, absolutely, because I don't know if this is one I'm going to get. So I really appreciate that. It's really cool to see the statue next to the, uh, the wall as well. Gavin, cannot thank you enough for taking time to do this review for us. Awesome, awesome statue. So like I said earlier, I think it looks really, really great. I think it's awesome. I do feel like it lost a little bit of the likeness in translation a little bit from what we saw with the prototype, uh, from the photos I've seen, from the videos I've seen. Like it, it, just, it looks close, but it looks like it lost maybe just a little something in the likeness department. But I do want to hear your thoughts if you agree with me or not. Um, I don't know. I'm still debating. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should add it to my collection? Or do you think I should pass on it, just focus on the Michael Keaton stuff? Uh, the, the, the movie space in my collection will probably be a little bit limited because I want to focus on the comic book stuff, as you guys can see. Um, but I still really like this piece. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Please uh, hit the like button to thank Gavin for taking the time to film this for us. It was awesome. And congratulations, Gavin, on your new piece. Uh, I'm really excited for you and I'm excited for any collector that gets any of these Prime One pieces because you guys know how much I love them. They're awesome and they're worth every cent. Well, maybe it is subjective for sure, uh, but they've been worth every cent for me because I love these things. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please hit the like button, like I said, and just thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch. Uh, thanks to all of our members that hit the join button down below. Thank you guys, everybody that has supported the channel like you guys do. I can't thank you guys enough. Hope you're all well. Be kind to one another. Be good to one another. And I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.